this video, we're going to be looking at how you can create uh, certificates automatically for um, students or participants when they've completed a unit of work or if they've completed um, an exam that you've done through Google Forms, quizzes, or something along those lines, uh, particularly looking at online learning at the moment and how you might encourage students and motivate them by providing them with a certificate at the end of it and how we can use add-ons in Google Sheets to do that. So I'm gonna go in, into uh, present mode now and I'm gonna bring up my Google Drive. Now, the first thing I've done in Google Drive is I've created for myself, uh, that one, is I've created for myself a template which is here in Google Slides. So I've just used a normal Google Slide and I've brought into here my, uh, my face, the G Suite logo, um, I've added my digital signature to the bottom here and I've just added a, a box, colored it in black, and then added the text. This is to certify that name has completed the introduction to G Suite course with myself. Okay, and then I've got these two tags running with these double um, chevrons. So I'm gonna have insert there the name and also the date that they completed it. Okay, so I've just created a very simple certificate in Google Slides. So I'm just gonna hide that for a moment. Actually, I'll, uh, I'll close that for a moment. Now what I'm gonna do is to go to an exam that I've created using Google Forms. And I've used the quizzes option with this one. So what I'm gonna do is ask for the respondent's email address and then name. And then there's just some short questions, all of which um, are self-marking um, that they would complete. Um, so I've turned it into a quiz and I've selected which is the answer key and given the point for the correct answers. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna complete this as if I was um, one of the responders. So I'm gonna put in um, my work email address. I'm gonna enter my name. And then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna answer these short questions. So in a document, once you've typed a title, how can you quickly name the document? So let's click on the untitled document at the top left. James wants his colleagues to comment on each other's works, but he doesn't want them to be able to edit the documents. What can he do? Um, Okay, of all of those different options, definitely not a hard copy. You could change the editing mode to suggestion mode. Sharon has a document with the rest of her department. She has made some changes and wants them all to be aware. Um, she could choose the email collaborators option. Um, what? How could John convert his PowerPoints easily to slides? Um, he could load them into Google Drive and then open with slides. Um, Google Slides that can only be printed in landscape format. Um, I'm gonna say that's true. Um, Google Forms allows users to direct, um, allows you to write users to different sections um, using these types of questions, I think. Um, what are folders called in Gmail? Uh, that's labels. Uh, what feature is best when trying to arrange a meeting? Um, I like to use the find a time view. So I'm gonna submit that. Uh, and at the moment, all it does, it tells me that I've completed the exam. It's not released a score or anything along those, along those lines, although I could do. In my settings up here, I could choose, um, because it's a quiz, I can choose whether I want to immediately release the grade upon submission. And if they're working on Chromebooks, I can also lock it down so they can't go and, and Google answers, okay? Um, but I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment. I could have done, but I'm not going to. So I'm gonna close that window. Um, and I'm gonna come back to my form and back to my responses. And I'm gonna go into my responses sheet through the green sheets icon here. And I've already created my sheet and run a test with it. Um, so you can see it's pulling through the timestamp of the exam being taken, the email address, the score out of eight for the exam and the person's name, and then what their individual items, answers were. So you can see there's the one I got wrong. Um, one unfortunate feature of Google Slides is that they can only be presented in landscape format. Actually, that's not true. You can change the page setup and change the sizes to make it portrait, okay? Um, and then here's the rest of my answers. I've set a formula in here that says if C2, which is our answer column, our score column, if C2 is greater than six out of eight, 
equal true. So in both cases here, that was true because I scored eight and seven. Um, that's that's going to basically mark that as true. And then I've used an add-on called copy down, which takes any formula that you've got in a row and automatically remembers it and copies it down into the following columns as new forms are submitted. And the way you get that add-on is to just come up here to add-ons. Um, I've already got it showing, but you would go to get add-ons and you would just type in here, copy down. And you would have the option to add it, okay? But I've already got it installed, obviously. Once it's installed, you just come up here, copy down. If I go to my copy down settings now, you turn it on, you tell it what row the formula's in that you want it to look at, so mine's in row two, um, and then save the settings. And if anything's changed, you can re rediscover the formulas as well. So that's automatically now gonna generate that formula in the next row of the submissions. Now the next part of this, and the clever part about generating the um, automatic um, certificate, is to then use another add-on called Autocrat, which again, you get in the same way. So you go to add-ons, and it's already there for me, but you would just type in Autocrat, and again, it appears at the top here. So we go through Autocrat, and we'd open it, and it takes you to your first page, and initially, your first time, it will just say, no jobs, add a new job um, and you can see I've already got a job in here okay so I'm going to go back and edit my job as if it was the first one because it gives us exactly the same steps so I've given my job a name this is the certification short G Suite exam name and I'm going to click next and then from my drive I've picked up my example so I've gone to my drive I've picked up that template that I created that one there and then what it's done is it's read that template and picked out those two tags that I had in there with the chevrons name and date okay so it picks those details out sometimes it will automatically recognize and line everything up for you sometimes it needs a little bit of help um, so it's just fetching those templates Take it a little bit of time, so I might just start that again. Sometimes it uh, doesn't like if you stop halfway through the process for it. So we reload again. And I go into edit. So I've got my name. I'm gonna use that template. It's gonna fetch those tags. Now it's happy it's done that. And here you can say it's going to match the name Chevron to your name, and it's going to match the date Chevron to the timestamp. Okay, looking at form responses in the sheets down here, and header row one and the first row of data being row two. Okay, so we're happy with that. And we can add any number of tags in that we like. Okay, we could add the score, whatever. And then I'm going to name the file that it produces, G Suite certificate, and then I'm gonna use this dollar sign to tag your name, okay? And that's gonna pick up whatever the person has entered in the your name cell. And I'm gonna generate a Google slide from it, because that's what my template is, um, with a multiple output mode. And that enables me to share the slide. So I'm gonna go next. I've chosen a folder called Short Cert Certificates. Initially, it will come up with my drive, but you can just choose another folder and create it. So all of my certificates are gonna go into there. So I've got a record as the generator as well. And then I'm gonna set my merge condition that if column passed equals true, then it's gonna generate, okay? I'm gonna enable it to share the doc as an editable doc, or as a view only doc, I'm gonna suggest um, actually a view only doc, although I could make it a PDF. Uh, so let's make it a PDF. Um, I'm not gonna allow, yes, I am gonna allow people to reshare. So for example, they've got to forward it on to someone they work with to prove they've done it. And then I've got a generic no reply so that people don't respond directly to it. I'm bringing in the tag for email address from up here. So I want it to automatically email back the person that responded. 
I've just put a heading in, congratulations, and a message there, congratulations on passing the introduction to G Suite course. And I click next, and I choose it to run on a form trigger in every hour. So that way it's gonna keep looking and keep generating without me having to do anything. And then I can click save. So that's all ready to go. Okay, now this is already run because it does it automatically, but if it hadn't run automatically, we could have forced it through there. So I'm just gonna close this window. We can see in my responses sheet, we've already got a link to the document that's been emailed out. So there's the URL link and there's the actual merge doc. So if I click on this and I open it, here we've got my certificate with my name in there and the date stamp in there. And obviously you can change those tags to show whatever you want. If I then just go quickly to my other account, and one of my other accounts, just check my email. I should have received in here. Here we go. Uh, congratulations on passing. Because I selected, because this ran automatically before I changed it to PDF, this has come through as a G Suite certificate um, in slides, um, which I've received with edit rights because I hadn't changed it at that point. But from this point on, it would come through as a PDF um, just as a certificate for you.